open up. You open up. Hey guys, it's Leela. So today I have a really, really exciting video to show you guys. I went to Ulta and I picked up so much drugstore makeup. So I'm super excited because um, if you guys like watch my videos, you guys know I use a lot of drugstore. I honestly really love drugstore because you can literally beat your face to like the gods, but like you don't have to pay like tons of money. Like I remember like I didn't really know about drugstore when I started doing makeup, so I only went to like Sephora. And I was like, oh my god, like everything in here is so expensive. <laughs> and I would literally only, I would save up all my money like just to buy really expensive Sephora stuff. And then, I don't know, I always just thought like drugstore was like bad for you and like bad for your skin, bad for your face. Like, but a lot of them have come out, um, you know, cruelty free, vegan, um, you know, no parabens, none of that crazy stuff. So it's really cool because you can get really good quality makeup for like really, really cheap. So I went ahead and picked up a lot, a lot of makeup. So I figured I'd kind of just like do like a mini drugstore. It was not mini, it's kind of big. But I would do like a drugstore haul slash like full face of drugstore makeup because I pretty much did buy enough stuff to do a whole face of makeup. I have this set up in like a particular order. I just kind of, I'm going to grab from this bag and as we go, I will um, start to put it on my face. You know what? Maybe I should do it in the order of what I'm going to put on my face. That might, that might help. Okay, so the first thing I will show, because we're going to have to use it, I did buy new makeup sponges. I love, I love new makeup sponges. So I did get the two-pack of Real Techniques um, sponges. I love these sponges. Um, and I think um, Real Techniques, because I went to Ulta today, so Real Techniques is having a sale at Ulta. Oh, God, I'm out of seat. Ah, found it. Yes, they're 25% off, Real Techniques. So these are usually $10.99, but I got them for $8, which is pretty cool, because I got two of them. Usually they're six each. And then I did get the Morphe sponge, because um, I had one of these and I really liked it, but I just like never picked one up. And I totally forgot that Ulta carries Morphe. Um, so I got one of these guys too. I don't know which one I want to use today. But but for foundation, I actually had to go to Rite Aid because Ulta, though the Ulta I went to didn't carry it. Um, but I did get the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. So I did get two shades because I'm not sure what I am. But I hope one of these works. If not, we're going to mix them together and we're going to see how it goes. But the one thing I was actually really excited to get was this... Um, wet and wild water drop primer um so they make this in the rose and the cucumber i wanted the cucumber but they were out and this was the last one but this one is a cream to water formula it hydrates and locks down moisture and it blurs the appearance of pores so i actually watched um daisy marquez's video i think she just put it up and it's like i think it's a drugstore like makeup paul thingy um and she used this in the cucumber and she said that actually it does really, really well at blurring pores. So I was like, well, let me pick that up because I actually was about to go and buy this at Sephora, the Benefit Professional, because I feel like I, my texture is just like not working with me. So I wanted to see how this does. I should probably start putting some of this stuff on. <laughs> so we're going to start with the Wet n Wild part. Okay. So I should probably start with primer and then I'm going to do my eyebrows um, and then I already have a drugstore um, eyebrow pomade so I'm going to use that even though my eyebrows are so grown out and pomade probably won't look good on them right now but whatever. So this is again the water drop primer from Wet n Wild. Ooh it's like really big like the little like the applicator like where it comes out it's really big. Let's see what happens. <laughs> also i'm gonna address that big elephant in the room my nails i know please don't come for me in the comments i know they just like fell off like they just they were like i kept they kept bending and it, it was driving me insane i already made an appointment i'm going i promise please don't come for me i'm gonna put some of my eyelids too just because um my eyelid loves to get oily and crease it feels really good. It's like creamy. It says cream to water. Did I read it wrong? 
yeah, cream to water formula, but I feel like it was more like water when I put it on and then it turned like creamy. Let's see how it looks with the foundation. So I picked up the color 681A Golden Honey and I picked up 865A Sand Beige. So this is the darker one. I'm gonna try the lighter one first and see what happens. Ah, my eyebrows. Okay, hold on. Be right back. Wow, okay. So I, I used my Milani uh, Stay Put Brow Pomade. Did I really hold it upside down? <laughs> I use the shade of five dark brown. I think it's what it's called um, But actually like the primer made the pomade go on like really really well like It just like slid on I was like really surprised I actually um, and the the rose like scent isn't like overwhelming, which is nice. So I, I like it. Hold on. I gotta put my hair back Hi Okay So here we go. Honestly, I don't remember. I just I just know I've heard people talk about this. And I was like, I need to try it. Because I love my Milani foundation. Like, that's, like, the, the, the foundation I've been using. And um, I, I love it and all. But it also doesn't apply well with a sponge. And, like, just doing your foundation with a sponge is so much faster in the morning. Like, if you're in a hurry, and, like, I'm always in a freaking hurry. It's really creamy. I like that. I would definitely say this is, like, medium coverage. I'm sure it's buildable. Wait, next. I did go ahead and pick up these Milani Conceal and Perfect um, concealers. So, um, I've heard a lot of great things about these, too. I love their Conceal and Perfect foundation. That's the Milani foundation I usually use. I feel like that concealer like wasn't light enough. Oh well. Okay, and then I did get the contour shade too, so let's just do some cream contour. Contour. It does blend very nicely. Like that's one thing I will say. Like that blended like nothing. Next, I bought. I know I bought a lot of Wet and Wild. Oh, another thing. Um. So Ulta is having a buy one get one half off on all Wet n Wild, LA Girl, um, and a couple other brands. I can't remember which ones they are, but they do have a lot of buy one get one 50% off right now. So that's why I have a lot of Wet n Wild because I was like, well, if it's on sale, like give it to me. So I actually got their Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I love this line. Like this Photo Focus line has, I've, I haven't disliked anything from this, this line so far. And I'm digging it. And I think this was only like five bucks, guys. Five bucks. Look how big this thing is, guys. Like, look how this is. This is 20 grams. Okay, so I'm gonna take um, my sponge and I'm just gonna dab some of this. Oh. So obviously, the biggest concern with drugstore or any translucent powder really is flashback. So. I will take a picture and let you guys know. Yeah, because you obviously don't want to be out doing life, living your life, and then this thing is like ghosty eyes, right? Okay, we'll let her bake just for a second. Let me do my forehead too. While we're baking. Okay, and then I also got this Wet n Wild bronzer. I got it in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. Oh, I like the little palm leaf. I think that's so cute. I'm gonna take this guy. I wonder how big minted he is. This bra, it's not showing up. Why? It's like muddy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm just gonna use my Milani one so we can still stay in the drug drugstore realm. Okay, see, like that's a bronzer. The heck is going on, Wet and Wild? Because I felt like I kept putting this on and it wasn't doing anything. I mean, I don't know if it's because this isn't dark enough for me, but it. They look the same color. 
Yeah, see, like, even on my finger, like, it's not a lot of payoff. That's kind of weird. And then I didn't do cream contour on my nose just because sometimes I feel like it just gets really overwhelming. So I'm just going to take a little bit of bronzer on the sides. So I just want, like, a slight, want a slight nose job. Not like a... <laughs> not your typical L.A. Uh, nose job. Now, I actually ended up getting Milani Baked Blush and I finally got Luminoso. It's kind of like um, like NARS Orgasm Blush, but like for a drugstore. Oh my god, it has a little brush in it. I didn't know that. That's so cute. Well, we're not going to use that today. But look at that. So pretty. It does have some sheen to it. Usually I'm... Ooh. Usually I'm not like a big fan of sheen and blushes, but let's see. Let's give it a whirl. This is actually really pretty. And it, it's not like overwhelming. Okay, I see you, Milani. Milani's always hooking it up, I swear. Next is my favorite part. <laughs> Highlight! I'm so sorry, wait. Let's go back. <laughs> I actually ended up picking up this Catrice Cosmetics um, mattifying powder solely for the reason that it says it's waterproof. Like, I don't believe that. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest like I don't believe that I am about to finish like my primed and poreless powder so I mean I figured they're pretty close like so it is a silky waterproof long-lasting mattified and flawless complexion resists humidity fits every skin cone and has a soft focus effect and also does have vitamin A and E in it so I figured we just give her a whirl and see what happens because a waterproof powder it's pretty hard to do it's usually like if you guys have ever gone into like a pool with like well, powder on your face or even got like a splash of water on your face like you just see like the powder like separate into the water it's like not the cutest effect it does it does set the face really nice this was only like 10 bucks too yeah seven seven fifty seven that's not bad hmm. okay i've never tried catrice before so Good first impression all righty let me just do an eyeshadow really quick um this isn't new i've actually had this for a long time please don't ask me what that stain is but um this is the out natural from wet and wild it's the color i color the color icon um collection it's just like a lot of pinks like i didn't really have like a pink palette but it does have some really nice neutrals in it on top of like the pinky shades so i'm just gonna do it like a quick little little some some um, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's shade number six. And I'm just gonna take that into the crease just for a transition. Okay, I had <laughs> technical difficulties and my camera stopped filming. So I got through my eyeshadow and my eyeliner. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I did do, um, I did use like the Wet n Wild palette. And then I did mention that like I remembered why I don't really use this palette that much. It's just because the, the colors kind of get muddy. Like the more you like keep blending colors together, like the more they kind of just all like morph into one color. So that's why I'm not like a super big, fan of this palette but we're trying to be drugstore guys so this is the drugstore look um but there's way better like palettes but this is the wet and wild one i mean it's not like horrible like it's just a little it just looks like i have like two colors on but like whatever and then i did do my eyeliner which i suck at eyeliner so i'm so sorry that this isn't like nice eyeliner it's not really drugstore but it's the sephora brand eyeliner it's literally the only eyeliner i ever use and i've only ever used since like high school um because it's only 12 bucks like which is still not bad um for an eyeliner i mean i'm sure that there's like four or five dollar ones but like 12 bucks i feel like it's not that bad i usually really like that one just because it has a felt tip and it's it's just easier for me to apply i can't do brush liner and all that jazz so I was in the process of like putting lashes on and before my camera shut off and I lost one <laughs> well whatever I'm just gonna get a new pair I guess that's annoying yeah, I'm gonna find it later I know it anyways <laughs> so I'm gonna be using <laughs> my Ardell Wispies um these are the 113s just cuz oh no wait these are not the 113s I'm gonna use these <laughs> My pack is like all trashed, but this is my 113s pack. I really, really like these because they're a little longer than the regular Wispies. 
Um, so I usually use these. I didn't buy any new lashes today just because the last time I went to Target, I spent like something like $100 on like lashes because I go through them so much. So yeah, I, I bought like so many lashes just because like I, I go through them a lot or like I lose them or I like to do this thing where like I don't wash my face and I just do a makeup wipe. So I'll just take them off and like literally just like put them on my nightstand. Or sometimes I go out and you know your girl just gets a little too like so like I'll <laughs> like lose them or like somehow rip them off like throughout the night. Sometimes Josh will like save them like after a night out. It's really funny. I'm like where are my lashes? Cause like I know I didn't take my makeup off. It's still on my face. But then I like go to rub my eyes and I'm like why don't I have any lashes on? I'll look at my nightstand like they're not there and the guy swear I'll be like babe like do you know where my lashes are and he's like oh yeah like I have them here I put them in my pocket last night <laughs> it just like kills me because I'm like you really like saved my lashes like you're so cute so I totally like forgot to put mascara on before I did my lashes so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline lash stiletto to blend my real lashes and the falsies it sucks because I don't really have like a volumizing mascara, which is kind of what I need with these. Okay, now the lips. So I have a Wet n Wild little combo. So this is the liner. This is the, um, the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Gone Burgundy. So I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to top it with Rebel Rose just to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, because I don't feel like wearing burgundy lips today. These liners are so nice. Like, do you see how pigmented this is? And it just, like, glides on. And then Rebel Rose is, like, really light. So it's actually, I feel like it's going to look really pretty. I did pick up some other stuff too, so I figured I'd just like let you guys know since we're doing this little haul, anywho. Um, but I did pick up more of the Photo Focus Primer Water. I really, really like this. I finished my other one already, um, but I love this. It's really, really easy to prime my face with, and then I kind of like just take this one on the go if I want to set my face or refresh throughout the day. This is a really, really good one. I bought another Milani Concealer and Perfect in the shade that I wear because I'm almost out. It's not almost, but like I'm getting there. It'll be gone. And if I'm already picking on makeup, I might as well, you know? And then I did also pick up another Milani Make It Last. Oh, I did not set my face. Pfft, who am I? I'm going to take the rest of what I have for my Make It Last and use it right now. So I bought another one because this stuff this stuff is amazing. I love it. Like, it's the one of the best setting sprays. I feel like it's a really, really good dupe for all-nighter. And the one thing about all-nighter is that I hate the scent. I don't know why, but I hate the scent of all-nighter. It just, to me, it smells disgusting. So this actually smells good. And I like the fact that it smells good, so I can actually spray it on my face and enjoy it. And then the other thing I picked up is um, this Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. So I wanted to try this. I saw somebody else do this in their haul, um, but it's supposed to melt away makeup, deeply clean away impurities, and leave the skin full, fully supple and hydrated. Um, and it's literally like a jelly. It looks so cool. And it smells like green tea. I love it. I'm really excited to try this because... Um, I, I wanted to see what it does. But that is it for the haul. I, I bought about so much stuff, I can't believe it. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. I promise that my nails will be fixed, hopefully by my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.